I think I just found the app that's gonna replace half of my second brain system inside Notion. I've been looking for another tool to supplement what I've been doing in Notion for a while now, so I was really excited when they hit me up to partner on this video. So today, guys, we're gonna take a look at my new life productivity system inside of X-Tiles. All right, guys, here we are inside of my X-Tiles workspace. You can see this is pretty familiar probably with a lot of software you've used before. If we go down here, we can see all of my projects. We'll go into my life OS system. So Xtiles brands themselves as kind of a cross between Notion and Miro. And that's largely because of these different tiles that they have. You can see if I drag them around, I can kind of rearrange my space however I want it to be. And everything kind of just automatically adjusts based on where I put things. And it's really, really awesome. And so this is my new life OS system inside of X tiles. It literally took me one day to set up everything that you see here. I'm not even joking. Like using their template gallery really helped get, get me a head start. But then the interface is so intuitive that building this actually felt like I was kind of playing a fun game as opposed to setting up a software for myself. And if you're someone who gets intimidated by a blank page or endless possibilities like I do sometimes, then they have this template gallery Then you can choose a lot of amazing templates from to get you started real quick and easy. And then customizing them, personalizing them, it's literally so fun and so fast. Like again, like I literally set this up in one day. It took me, it took me no time, whereas Setting up my notion that I went over in my previous video, that took me months. <laughs> and not because Notion's particularly difficult, but because it's specific. And I had to spend a lot of dedicated time to figure out exactly what I wanted and what I could get out of it. Whereas this took me minutes with no tutorials and no like overly complicated videos. Learning the ins and outs of software is what I do for a living. That is my day job. My job is to set up software and make them as productive as possible for large groups of users. So you can imagine like how happy I was to get in here and almost not need to think to be able to set up a really amazing life productivity system. So within x you have these boards that you've seen me clicking around on a little bit. Let me just set up a new page just to show you what that looks like. I'm just going to call it blank for now. So you can see here, like this kind of looks like a bullet journal. If you were part of that bullet journaling cra craze, like maybe 10 years ago or something, you're going to you're going to freaking love this. <laughs> Starting out building it with your tiles, like is as simple as dragging and dropping, right? Bam, tiles in. Let's say I wanted a simple to do list. That's in, let's say I wanted to pick a different type of block, then I would just hit the backslash and I would select the type of block that I want. And it's a really easy way to get started. If it's just a simple checklist that I want, I'm just gonna add task one, two, three, four, five. If I wanna customize the color, the size, give it a title, all of that stuff, I can do that right here. You know, it's really simple, it's really fast, it's really easy. Everything is responsive and I love it. I'm going to quickly delete that page and we're back with my regular life OS system. You can see I set up my life OS system inside of this project. It has all of these different tabs and all of these tabs have drop downs, which link to other pages. And if you're an arc browser user, or if you're a Google Chrome tab hoarder, like I am, then this is a really satisfying way to group all of your different pages and all of your different trackers and planners. And the reason I went with a life OS system as opposed to a more traditional like project management and getting things done type of system is because that was the most cumbersome thing for me to set up inside Notion. So I wanted to test it out here to see if it would be less cumbersome if I could felt like I could actually use it more proactively and not feel like it was a, more of a task and more energy to maintain it than it was worth, uh, which is the problem I was having with Notion and doing my life stuff inside Notion. Now let's get into my actual life OS system. I'm going to go through all the tabs and pages that I have here. And on this first page is my mood of the month. This is just a straight up mood board. Okay. 
I made this tab or this tile specifically for just like capturing my vibes and then just adding a bunch of pictures that I wanted to just kind of represent what I was feeling for this month. So like my vibe is like travel. I'm going on vacation for two weeks at the end of August, family, friends, summer art. Like I'm just trying to wrap up the summer in a nice, fun, positive way. So I was just putting images here that really helped me feel that way. But if I wanted to add more images and more tiles to this mood board, I easily could by just doing that and then hitting the image button and they have unsplash. So you could just literally look up like whatever aesthetic thing you want and just select it and then bam you've got your image inside of x tiles for your mood board super simple super straightforward took me two seconds to do all of this after that i have my tab group trackers here i have a workout tracker and a monthly habit tracker and a monthly habit tracker template so in my workout tracker i have some exercises that i've been putting in a calendar view so that I can keep track of exercises in this collection um, and then like just kind of grouping them by different views so this is very similar to databases that you've seen before you can set up gallery a board view if you have specific properties inside of your databases then you could automatically group your views by those properties pretty straightforward pretty fun I'm still adding more exercises to this but I'm really looking forward to this as a way to keep track and like actually document my exercise in a way that makes more sense for me. After that, I have my monthly habit tracker. I set this up so that I have all my habits laid out here with checkboxes for each day of the week and each week in the month. Really simple, really straightforward so I can check them off as I go. If I felt like it, I can convert these to tasks, set due dates, make them repeat every week. But I like this and I created a template for it. So every single month, I'm just going to duplicate the template and set it up like fresh for the month. It's really simple. It's really easy. I like it. If I were to, let's say I were to convert these to tasks that I could like just repeat every month, then it would be really helpful and handy because they would show up this task tracker on the right hand side here. I can keep track of them by, I'm going to move myself over. I keep track of them by due date, who they're assigned to, if I'm working with a team inside of X-Tiles. Um, if I were to assign dates to them, then I could track them all on the calendar view inside of X-Tiles. So this is just a really better way to manage tasks, I think, than Notion is capable of right now. And so I love this. I love this feature. And I set up a monthly recurring task for my monthly board renewal. So that way, when I... At the start of each month, I'll go through, I'll refresh my mood board, I'll set a new monthly habit tracker, go through like my monthly journal and planning and just start fresh. And I'm really excited to give that a shot throughout August and September. All right, moving on beyond the trackers, we have my planners. So first I set up a trip planner because I am going on vacation for two weeks. I'm going to Slovenia. So I added a little widget map, my itinerary is set here with tasks set with due dates underneath that i've got drop down list with my packing list my toiletries clothing so on and so forth list of places to see places to shop i've got a budget tracker right here that sums up all of my spending in total so i can keep track of everything more easily underneath the trip planner i have my monthly planner so focusing on what i need to do each month I'm excited to try this out for a little bit of content planning, a little bit of life planning, um, kind of because the two are interwoven at this point. So we'll see, you know, but I like the month focus. I like having the little embedded widget of the month over here, a goals tracker for the month and just some notes to remind myself, you know, whatever I need for the month underneath the monthly planner, I have my daily planner. So. I'm usually not like too much of a daily planner type of person, but I think if I'm going into a weekend or if I, if I want to be more focused and planning out my time or time blocking, then I think this is going to be a really helpful way for me to set up and just hold myself accountable, right? Because that's the whole goal with setting up a life OS system is that I want to be accountable to myself. I want to make sure I don't forget things and I want to make sure that I am doing what 
is best for me in my daily life. Moving on from the daily planner, I have my journaling tab. So this is really straightforward. It is just a template that I can duplicate each day that I want to journal. I can add in the date and then I downloaded this template off of the template gallery here from Xtiles. So I really like it. I might customize it a little bit, but I'm a fan of this setup and I might actually start journaling more digitally going forward. So each day that I want to journal, I'm going to just duplicate this template and add in like my info for the day. And I'll probably just title it with the date to keep track of it. If I want to, I could also probably add a collection and keep track of my journaling like that. But I think this is going to work best for me for now. Moving on from the journaling tab, I have my budget tab. Here, I'm, I'm really excited about this. I have a finance goals tab. So tracking my monthly income, my savings, my investments, and my debt <laughs> more closely. Um, I tried doing this inside of Notion. I really, really did not like their setup for it. I was not a fan of like how the tables were working and everything. This visually just makes a lot more sense for me. Underneath that, again, I've got a template set up for each individual month with a calculator widget, and so basically it'll track the income and expenses and then I'll keep track of the monthly balance down here and add that to the total over on the overall tracking page. Really cool, really straightforward. Visually, this just, this is the best for me. I'm not an Excel person, I'm not a spreadsheet person and I didn't like it in Notion. So I'm really hoping that this is something that I can keep up with and keep track of better. All right, moving on from the budget group, I've got my media library group. So starting off with my bookshelf, this is just a great way to keep track of all the books that I am reading or books that I want to read. I've got a board view based on status. Underneath the bookshelf, I've got a movie tracker, which again, like just, just for keeping track of TV shows and movies that I wanna watch or am interested in. Underneath that is the overall resources bucket, which I'm really interested in. Xtiles also has a web clipper, which allows you to take snapshots of websites or podcasts or anything that you're on, and you can quickly move them to collections or pages that you want them to land in. So I'm gonna place it in my resources page, and you can see that it ended up right there. Super quick, super easy, took a couple clicks from my web browser just to get that in. And that's your inbox section in Xtiles. I already showed off the task list and to do section, calendar again, like this is just a really great way to keep track of everything internally in Xtiles. It's cross database, it's cross page, which I think is just a lot better than the way Notion set up their new calendar system and underneath that is notification so if you got something due today you're going to get a notification you can set up your desktop or your mobile app to send you notifications for what's due and there you have it guys my new visual life planner inside x tiles thanks again to x tiles for sponsoring this video you can check out their links in the description below don't forget to sign up and let them know that i sent you and i just want to be perfectly clear that i am not ditching my system that i built inside notion but I am excited to try out and supplement with X tiles and see how the two stack up and compare over time. You know, I've said it before and I'll say it again, building a personalized productivity system takes experimentation and time. You have to be willing to try new things, especially if they are a low cost and low time investment like this. I mean, it's, it's just a no brainer at that point. It's, it's a continuous process of improvement for me, and it's a process that I love. And if you made it this far, thank you. I appreciate you. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe for more tips and productivity app reviews. And, you know, thank you for 500 subs. It's been a long year to get to this point, but I'm super excited about it. And I'm super thankful for each and every one of you, especially now that we've got one brand partnership underneath the belt. It's fucking sick. I'm hyped. Love you guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.